Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm supposed to say, this is not a miraculous channel, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? Screw it. I've got at least three or four video ideas, including this one planned, so I might as well get them all out of the way one after the other, just so that I can finally get it out of my system. Therefore, this is a temporary Miraculous Ladybug channel. And you know what else? Gabriel Agrest is secretly Emily Agrest. Hello everyone, my name's Ailabelle, and today I'm doing a different kind of video, a bit low-key. I have a family emergency to attend to, but I wanted to get a video out to you all. I have a crazy, outlandish theory I'd like to share with you, and the idea excited me so much that I just had to get it out as soon as possible. While I'm talking about the theory, the background footage will be of me drawing Purple Tigress because she is the most aesthetically pleasing superhero in Miraculous, in my opinion, and I wanted to draw her. Will I draw the other heroines at some point? Probably. But I want to draw the Doki Doki Literature Girls first, so yeah. Anywho, Gabriel is secretly Emily. Crazy, right? But before we get into that, if you're interested in opinionated videos, rewrites, or analyses of anime, cartoons, or stories, or if you like the occasional random story time video, then please subscribe and ring the notification bell. The support really helps as I'm trying to reach my dream of having a creative career. So, if you like this video, please also give it a thumbs up. And if you fancy yourself some cute and colorful artworks, please consider checking out and following my Instagram page at Ailabelle. You'll see some of my recent works here. And I know a lot of you guys will notice that they're not quite different from my last video where I showed my um, recent artwork. That's only because I've been playing Pokemon Snap for like the past two weeks, the new Pokemon Snap, and that's just kind of taken over my life and I haven't allowed myself to draw anything before drawing this picture today. So there's gonna be new stuff soon. I recently beat the main story of the new Pokemon Snap, so I have more free time again. <laughs> well, anyway, this video is not about Pokemon Snap. It is about a crazy theory I have. So now on to the topic. Gabriel Agrest is Adrian's father and neither of them are aware of their alter egos, Hawk slash Shadow Moth and Cat Noir respectively. One wreaks havoc on Paris while the other works hard to keep it safe. They have no idea that this entire time they've been each other's bitter enemy. As a father, Gabriel is super strict and makes sure to keep a close eye on his son, essentially planning his life out for him. In Gabriel's perspective, he's protecting his son and giving him a stable life, but to Adrian, it's super constrictive and has had a negative effect on his psyche. What's worse, sometime before the events of the series, Adrian's mother and Gabriel's wife, Emily, either died or fell into a coma. It's super unclear. She's in a coffin, but I don't know if it's been made exclusively, I'm sorry, specifically clear if she's dead or just in a coma. Regardless, the family dynamic seemed to just crumble as a result of that. Both father and son cope with this fact in different ways, but we're going to focus on Gabriel today. As a villain, Gabriel's motivation is to steal the ladybug and cat miraculous because being in control of both will allow him to make a wish. His wish is to bring back his wife. And as the show goes on, the things this man is willing to do to get these miraculous gets more and more twisted to the point where you have to question if he's if he's even doing it for his wife, or if he just gets a kick out of tossing around teenagers and terrorizing Paris. Now, it's not a huge secret that I would very much like Emily to secretly be the big bad supervillain of the show. We're told of how kind and gentle she is, and given that we haven't really seen her in any flashbacks or got any of her backstory, it's just kind of suspicious. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. But after finding out that the broken peacock miraculous makes its users ill and weak, there was a theory going around in the social media circles that perhaps Emily used it and grew so weak to the point of death or it made her comatose. Given Gabriel's willingness to jump into villain action, it's not incredibly far-fetched that either they work together or she did the bad guy shtick first and he got it from her. Having said that, Something interesting happened recently. 
In the latest episode, Wishmaker, we saw that Adrian's greatest wish when he was a child was to be exactly who his parents wanted him to be. And ignoring the tragedy behind that, we see a stylized flashback with Emily and Gabriel looking down at a baby Adrian. Some people on social media noticed something weird about this picture. Emily and Gabriel's eye colors were swapped. Emily, from what we've seen in pictures, had green eyes, and Gabriel has blue eyes, but that's not what's shown here. Sure, it could be an animation error, but I don't know. I have a hard time believing that. This still isn't an animation, it's a still drawing. Animation errors easily happen because there's so much movement and stuff going on along with so many frames that it's easy to miss something subtle when so many frames look like the ones next to it. With a single drawing, one that stays on screen for a few seconds, way longer than how long a single frame is shown, how could anyone miss this error? You'd think that someone who worked on the show would notice that, but they didn't. Unless it was intentional. Okay, conspiracy theory time. So, we've seen the miraculous give people all sorts of powers, usually stereotypical superpowers and some more unique ones. What if there's a miraculous we don't know about, or a secret power of one we do know about that we weren't told about yet? The power to switch bodies. Or the power to switch consciousnesses, I guess. The power to Freaky Friday, essentially. Maybe it's a secret power of the butterfly miraculous. Think about it. If the butterfly miraculous's power is empathy or something, maybe it's not super out there that empathy powers means being able to literally see things from other people's eyes slash bodies to better see their perspective. So maybe there was a freak accident and somewhere along the way, Emily and Gabriel switch bodies, which is why their eye color swapped. Like, maybe Emily and Gabriel's relationship was becoming super rocky and Gabriel or Emily wanted to know what was going on from their spouse's perspective, so they ended up using the butterfly miraculous secretly, and then the accident happened and that made their bodies switch. Whether it was on purpose or by accident, they lived part of their lives in each other's bodies and put on a fantastic act to make sure that people don't catch on to the change. When people ask how their eye colors changed, they could just easily say that they're wearing contact lenses. Gabriel can even say that his, or her, glasses are just for show or fashion reasons only. I think this event being an accident makes more sense than it being intentional. Maybe they were unable to change back, so they searched for the ladybug and cat miraculous before Marin and Adrian were chosen in order to wish to be back in their original bodies. Throughout this process, Gabriel, in Emily's body, used the broken peacock miraculous and got super sick and either died or went into a coma. Or maybe he, in her body, just got super sick for natural reasons. I don't know. Either way, the real Gabriel is in a coma and Emily, as Gabriel, is so guilt-stricken because she believes that the fate should have been hers and perhaps might even think that Gabriel hates her for being able to stay healthy in his body. Therefore, it isn't only love motivating Gabriel slash Emily to get the cat and Ladybug Miraculouses, but also heavy guilt. And you know how crazy guilt can make a person. It can deteriorate someone's psyche, which might be why she was willing to go so far to terrorize Paris and fatally toss around teenagers. Plus, I can only imagine the mental torment that can happen with being stuck in someone else's body for who knows how long. He slash she acts so strict and standoffish because he slash she is just trying to keep those emotions in check to not go completely insane. Hawk Moth doing crazy and cruel things kind of makes sense now. If this is the case, then maybe the recent spoiler that said that Hawk Moth will get the presumably lady and cat miraculous soon and will finally be able to make the wish to wake up Gabriel in Emily's body and perhaps even switch them back somehow. I'm sorry, I read that paragraph in such an awkward way, it's a run-on sentence, but I don't feel like fixing it. Anyway, so... Maybe it'll be the end of Shadow Moth because Shadow Moth will no longer have a reason to be a villain. Maybe it's at this point that New Hawk Moth comes around because the Butterfly Miraculous gets lost somehow and put into the wrong hands. Maybe Lila, I don't know. In any case, what do you guys think of the theory? 
Is it super out there or is it super possible? Even if it ends up not being true, which is likely, admittedly, it'll make for some gnarly fanfiction, right? But like I said, it's just a theory. A miraculous theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I had to, it was low hanging fruit. I had to do it, guys. Anyway, that's all there is. There isn't any more.